Hey everybody, good morning, Wednesday, October 16, and we've had a lot of rain here. Rained pretty hard last night, everything's pretty wet, but uh, as you can see, the sun is coming out. Let's take a look. There it is. <laughs> nice and bright. Hopefully it'll come out and dry everything up. I still have laundry from yesterday. It's not dry yet. That's what happens when you live in a place you don't have dryers. There's no clothes dryers here in the Philippines unless you're uh, unless you have money. Uh, maybe uh, if you're in a hotel or a condo, maybe. But most people don't have dryers or dishwashers or even hot water. Uh, unless you have one of those Insta Hots that we have on the shower. But in the kitchen, if you wash dishes with cold water, not the best way to do it, but you do what you have to. But it is kind of a nice morning. Nice and quiet. I see uh, Edwin's caretakers put up by uh, CCTV over. There's a little light on it. Not a bad idea. I probably should put a couple over here. We have some in Cabana Tuan House, but not here. Oh man, so anyway, also wanted to mention, uh, I've talked to, talked about it before, about banking here in the Philippines. The banks are kind of strange over here. Any foreigner that's dealt with banking issues can't sit anywhere everything's wet nobody's wiped anything down everything's wet they're supposed to wipe these tables down in the morning ah. Guess I have to go in the Kubo here. <clears throat> so I don't feel like holding this camera all the time. <clears throat> anyway, uh, I have quite. A, I have a couple bank accounts here. I have one with the the. The biggest bank, one of the biggest banks here is BDO, Banco de Oreo, something like that. Uh, they're all over the place. Branches everywhere. But in the Philippines, if you did your initial banking at uh, a specific branch, like, uh, for instance, we lived in Batangas. So that's where I opened up my account in Batangas. At one specific branch that was uh, in a Walter Mart. Uh, then we moved here. So I do banking in Cabana Tuan at BDO. So every time you want to put money in, or even take money out, I should say, every time you want to take money out, or even put money in, <laughs> they charge you a fee if you go inside the bank and do it with the teller. ATMs, no charge. You can use the ATMs, any BDO. 
even 7-Elevens, um, most of them do BDO for free, no charge. But if you want to go inside the bank, do any kind of transaction, they charge you like 2 or $3. Dollars. Even to put money in. It's crazy. Because they say, oh, this isn't your branch. I said, that makes no sense, folks. It's all BDO. They're all the same company. In the U.S., you can you go to any branch you want. It doesn't matter where you initially set up your account information. Ridiculous people. Now, I haven't tried to do that at other banks. Uh, my union bank. I only go to Cabana Tuan. And my producers, I have a producer's account here in town because it's convenient. So that's the only one I've ever gone to. I haven't gone to any other producers inside. But BDO, I mean, it's a huge bank. They're a very wealthy company. But they want to charge you even to put money in. Crazy. It's another head shaker. I don't understand. And then BDO has another type of bank. It's called BDO. Uh, yeah, now I can't remember. Now I'm doing a video. I can't remember the name. But they're just real small branches. And they're not uh, connected with the regular BDOs. The large BDOs. My friend Daniel actually, he has the uh, account here in Gabaldon with that BDO. And if he, ch if he tries to go to another BDO that's not the same, he can't do any transactions. But he can use the ATM. The ATM cards work at any BDO. They're different. They're set up different. It's just a weird system here, people. But uh, if you're planning on moving here, if you're an expat, to set up your accounts to begin with, if you're brand new and you never had an account here, it's, it's pretty much of a hassle. You got to fill out all kinds of paperwork. You have to uh, get a brand guy to uh, approve you first. They have to fill out some kind of paper saying, yeah, you're a resident. You don't have any kind of uh, record. You're not a criminal. Uh, you have to fill out maybe what kind of income you might have. Uh, some other kind of information. Um, and it takes it takes a little while. And it takes a while to get your ATM card too. If you want to get all set up. Because I've heard a lot of stories. Different expats moving here. Having problems moving money around. People figure it out. There are other ways to do it. There are other sites that you can move money around from the U.S. or any other country to here. People do all kinds of things to get money here. Some of those things charge you. Some of them don't. You just got to figure out what's best for you. There are ways to do everything. But it took me a while to get settled. And all. But once you have one bank account, it's pretty easy to open another one. And uh, for me, it's pretty easy to transfer money. You just wire it. And if it, the bank is affiliated with your U.S. bank or your Australian bank or whatever, they don't charge you a fee. Uh, but some, some of them do. Uh, my friend Daniel, he was here yesterday. He showed me his new car. It's just like ours. It's the same Vios. This is a couple years newer. Uh, it's a slightly different color. But he, it's in real nice shape. He did a good job finding it. The price was reasonable. Uh, but he told me he does his transfers 
with Western Union because it's cheaper than him wiring money. He said Western Union is a lot cheaper. So that's how he does his. But he's not a full-time resident here. But he does have a bank account. And he does have a driver's license. So he's doing pretty good for not being here that long. He got set up pretty quickly. Uh, a lot of people use Western Union. I used to use it when I lived in the States to send money here, but I don't use it anymore. Oh, but that's it. That's why I just thought that was interesting where they even charge you. If it's not your branch, they charge you even deposit money. I can understand withdrawing money. But depositing money, they'd have to charge you because it's not your branch. It's still the same account number. What difference does it make if it's your branch or not? It doesn't go to that branch. As far as I know, they don't transfer it all the way back to Batangas. From, from Cabana Tuan. I don't know. Maybe they do. Uh, but just another thing you have to get used to here in the Philippines. Well, let's hope it dries out today. At least that we had the good news of the roads being open now all the time. No more road closures for now, as far as I know. Maybe when they start cementing uh, both sides. I don't know. I have to go check it out have to take this car out anyway maybe go to the car wash I usually do it myself but really for the price they charge you here it's not even worth doing it yourself they only charge you two two dollars three dollars to fully wash your car inside and out it's uh it's a deal <laughs> in the US you go to a car wash it's at least ten bucks at least even if you do it yourself, uh, everything's three or four times as much in the U.S. as it is here. Well, maybe not everything, but a lot. So it looks like the sun's coming out. Hopefully it'll dry everything up. And uh, Oh, by the way, I ordered grass seed to put on the uh, dirt over there. And I got my order yesterday. The guy came. He had two packages had two packages in his hand he added them up I paid him and then he hands me one package and gets on his motorcycle and leaves and I try to catch him hey 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 hold on he didn't hand me the other package the real small package had my seeds in it my grass seed so I called him oh, uh, I'll look for it Never heard back from him. What did he do with my other package? It's not here. He didn't hand it to me. I looked on the ground. He didn't drop it. Where did it go? So I got one package out of my two that I paid for two. Next time I have to have it in my hand before I give him the money. It's ridiculous. Always something going on here. Always a problem. Even with the simplest things. What could he have done? Why did he only hand me one package? I don't know. I should have said something as soon as he handed it to me. Where's the other one? But I, I didn't even... It just boggled my mind, I guess. I don't know. He took off right away. I couldn't run him down. Crazy. So now I don't have my grass seed. So I sent him another message, a SIM message, I want a SIM card, but he didn't answer back. I don't know how he could have dropped it or lost it. It was a real, real thin package, had these grass seeds in it, like eight packages of grass seed. Probably wasn't even enough, but it would have, would have helped. So now I don't even have my grass seed. Anyway, people, another thing. Another thing.
All right, folks, thanks for watching. I'll let you know if I hear anything about that. Like and subscribe, it is free. God bless everyone. Santa Claus, over and out.